Hello again, everybody. I don't know what that intro was, but today, well, in this episode, we are back on the Roman-styled house build. And today, as you might be able to see by the addition of this, we are doing the interior. Which, just for those who might not know, that which means the inside. Just a disclaimer, if you do hear a fan in the background, that is because my computer is exporting the last image and it's taking a lot of its willpower and I don't know why, it's never done that before. But apparently for the last episode it just wants to, might be, for god knows how many reasons. Okay, so, I have planned out the design already, although it doesn't actually follow the layout of the house, but... I'll make it work. Though it can actually at the same time, but just need some stuff rotating, that's fine. So I'll show you the design I came up with. It's kind of over there as you can see. But I'll show you what blocks we're using today. So today we are using smooth stone slabs, furnaces, rails, oak stairs, flower pots, stone pressure plate, stone bricks, spruce buttons, stone brick slabs, torch, item frames. Red carpets and polished and like says. I have just noticed that I literally have no sound, so let's put them put the volume to there, that'll do. And then in the second column we are using spruce stairs, spruce slabs, dark oak fences, brown carpet, light grey bed, yellow carpet, painting, you know the barrier blocks, and birch trap doors. Um we're also for some reason missing we're also using light grey carpets. So I'll show you the design we have. So I have in fact cut off the front of the building. So this would be the door. This would be the door. So you'd walk in and to your straight ahead is your kitchen, with your cooking area, some food on the side, the plates. This is meant to be a stove, but I don't know what this was. This is a mug. So a very compact kitchen. And I should let you guys know that this is a aesthetic interior, not a useful one. I'll do an entire other episode on the actual to-be-used interior. But other than that, let's continue with this. Right here is just a little side to put stuff on when you've done cooking it. You're like, da la 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 dunk. And here is the little talking area. Because this is Roman, this is based like a few hundred years ago, so this is just a talking area. And sit down and talk. La 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 la. Try not to hit your head on the stairs as you stand up. And here we have a spiral staircase. So you go up the spiral staircase with this lovely dark oak pillar. You get to the top and it's topped off with a brown carpet in order to make it so you don't like jump over. Here's a nice little table, which I think is probably in the most weird place because you're probably going to fall down the stairs. But here's just a little table to put things on. Here's a little mannequin with some clothes on. And the grey and yellow style together with an andesite chair and these birch trap doors as the little sides. Here's your mirror. Look at me, I'm looking good, I'm looking skinny today. Another coffee mug. And we'll come to those in a minute. Here's the bed, so grey and yellow again. And a coffee mug on the side table and a little torch on the side table. And coming to these designs here, what we've done is we've got a torch and an item frame. With a stone brick slab on the inside, this just makes it look like it's being held up by something instead of sticking itself to the wall, which would be a bit odd. And we don't really do odd, we're trying to go for more nice, realistic style. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer it over to this build. So we'll start with the stuff we use for the inside, um, with the bottom floor, so luckily they are slightly separated to be top and bottom floor. So we've got the kitchen stuff, kitchen supplies. Stone bricks, brief button. Yeah, that's all I can carry at the moment. So we'll come inside here to the lovely empty house. And that can make things difficult, but we'll make it work. We'll first things first, we will replace the just ignore that, that's obviously where the plants have been planted. Where the so you might end up with a bit of a flood if you take your floor out, but other than that, I think we can get over it, can't we? Alright, so filling that back in. I'll start with the outside so that I can get rid of the stupid water flow. There we go, that should do. 
That'll do, yeah, that'll do. Yes, so, continue. Fill in the floor. Make sure it's safe. Safe? What do I mean safe? <laughs> God, nice. Okay. And, oh, yeah. So we'll replace the stone bricks blocks with these spruce slabs. Because the spruce slabs are going to go in line with the top line of this. So that is just above the window around there. So we'll place that down. That should help make things easier. Could in fact move the stairs to here and have the kitchen here. However, I think I'm just going to stick with having the... Yeah, I'm just going to put the stairs here and the kitchen can go over here. So what we do, we get a double block of this, another block, and you go like that, so that makes a nice little extractor, that's the word I'm looking for. And then we get our furnaces with our rails on top, if they come this way, it doesn't really matter what way they're facing, personally I like them to be going over here. You just face, face down the block there and go with it. Uh, I don't actually need the three slabs, I need the... Have I really forgotten that as well? Oh. Okay. Okay, we'll get an oak slab as well. And we'll place it there. There we go. So this oak slab isn't actually needed right now, so I don't know why I got it. So we place these either side. And on one side, I'm going to go this side. We'll have this, like this. Oh. This just gives us our nice little side pattern. And anywhere you want, really, on top of that, you can place flower pots and buttons, etc. And then here, not here, not here. If we were to do it here, it would end up like this. And that's not very nice, because you can't get in your kitchen then, and that's a health and safety risk, isn't it? We'll place it here, and go across like this, and then like that. And again, anywhere you want, just placing flower pots, etc. And then what we've got left here is space for a living room. So what we'll do is we'll go get the living room supplies. So we need our polished and site stairs. We need our oak stairs, flower pot, and I think I used a button. Oh no, slab. Okay, let's do that. And our red carpet. Yes, okay. So, what we'll start with is we'll start with our backings to the chair. This just gives us like a little platform to put things on. Our polished under slide stairs, which gives us a little seat. Oh yeah, dancing on the seat. Then we'll put two gaps, some more stairs. And actually here, what we'll do is I'll do a little design that's not done in that one, but we'll see. Oh, have I forgot that? Okay, I forgot that as well. Let's just grab that and add that there. There, perfect. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll get our the back of our chairs here. And get some flower pots. And oh, Yeah, I'm just going to put a flower pot there because I'm going to put it there. And then the button, perfect. This and there, this is looking nice, but a tad empty. So we'll get our red carpet just to make it look a bit nicer, and that should do like that. And what we'll do now is clear our inventory again. We'll grab an armor stand, a crafting table, some green dye. No, I want lime green, not normal green. Lime green dye, and then some, a leather hat and a leather tunic. In our crafting table we will dye the leather cap lime green. We'll put it through twice so it's as lime green as it can be. Same with the leather tunic, twice so it's as green as it can be, just in case. There we go. And what we'll do now is something a bit more difficult than usual, but that is fine. We'll, we'll place it like this as well, so get the block there, place that that way, the leather cap on, the leather tunic on, drop it, block there, now facing more like that, leather cap, leather tunic, drop it, and then I'm more of like a turnt ankle, so like that, yeah, angle, not ankle, do that, do that, and then drop it, the same goes this way, so angle, oh, wait, that's the same angle I've just dropped, isn't it, that one we want, hat, hat, and drop it. As you can see, it creates like a nice little bush. Nice little bush. We'll put another one over here as well so you can see it better. So, platform. Facing that way. Cap, tunic, drop. Block. 
fix it that way. Cap tunic block. Drop, I mean not block. That way. Cap tunic drop. And finally, that way. Cap tunic drop. And if we have a look again, it just looks like a nice little tree. It's quite pretty on the in the inside, and it just livens up the area a bit more as well. What you could actually do as well with some of your coffee cups, make them into plant pot, actual plant pots. So these ones on the back of the chairs will make into actual pots rather than um, coffee mugs, because no real need for that. Just still, just livens up the area a bit more. And then we'll get one singular lily of the valley. And put that there. Now there's a coffee mug in there. So this area now looks quite nice. Comes together quite well. You can walk through, it just feels put together. We could in fact put a crafting table in the ground, just in case you want to make it a bit more useful. And even a chest around here somewhere, but that's up to you if you want to use this design to make it more useful. Now what we're doing is we're moving on to the stairs, so we'll need the dark oak fence, the spruce stairs, and a brown carpet, and obviously our spruce slabs. So yes, we will start it here. We'll go like that, coming off the back, and that'll do. Like that, back up, coming off the back. Um, like that. Up there, come off the back. It does make the area feel a bit smaller, but in here it just still looks nice, so who, who really cares at the end of the day? And let's angle that better because that looks ugly. There we go. This again. Oh, I've already placed it. So, what we'll do is we'll break this out from here, following around. Might have to change the angle because this is ended awkwardly and we want it to end this way rather than that way. See how that's turned. That's a good thing though. It was a good thing that we want to turn it around. So instead we'll start it here. This way. Coming out one. This way. Oop. This way. Coming out one. This way. We'll just break out this whole area. This way. This way. Coming out one. This way. And finally this way. So now. Something doesn't seem right. Something does not seem right. Oh no, that's fine, it's the same. Okay, so we'll fill this area back in. Yeah, that's better. No, it still doesn't seem right. Why doesn't it seem right? It is right. I'm going mental. Unless... You know what? Can you fit under there? No. Okay. So, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. What we'll do in order to make that not look so broken is, as you can see, the little table here. We'll actually turn that rather than have it face that way. So that it just fills that little area. See, the whole point in building is about changing your ideas in order to fit what you need to do. And that's what makes building fun, is because you can get as creative as you want. And honestly, if you mess up, no one cares. It's all a learning process. So what we need now is we need our torch, our stone brick slabs, and our item frames. So place the item frame down the torch down and the stone brick slab. Again, you can you can place these pretty much anywhere you want. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to put the torch in the item frame, but oh no. There you go. My advice is though, however, to not put a torch in that end area there. You'll see why in a moment. But well, you've already seen why. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll get the rest of our supplies, so we need our armour stand, light grey and yellow carpet, light grey bed, this, 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 
picture frame painting, whatever you want to call it, and an underside stairs. We'll get the birch trapdoors in a moment. So we'll start by putting our table facing this way because the window's there on this build. Having this, this, and this with our oak slab in the middle. Flower pot wherever you want it. I'm going to have a torch there for the sake of it. Yeah, that'll do. And a paint uh, just to stop that. And a Rude. And a painting on the wall. Oh, no, that's not one, one. I want the one. I want the one we were using earlier. That one. Perfect. I'll put this on the wall instead, though. Oh. Whoopsies. It's in that section, isn't it? Okay. Boop. Boop. Okay. So now we've got that bit done. We want our yellow carpet, so we'll put the grey carpet. Yellow, yellow, yellow. So what you do is you just pretend that the yellow is underneath this chair. And we will get a birch trap door. Place it either side like so. So that's that bit almost done. Get your armors done and you place it right there. Just because I think that looks nice. Again, it's not about symmetry. It's not about lining everything up. Because the whole point in this game, in building I mean, not in this game, is symmetry looks too... Well, symmetrical. Like, if say you're building a cliff, like the one over there, you can't build that in a straight line. If it's symmetrical, it makes no sense. Obviously, it comes down arching, but it doesn't come down arching the same. But when you're building something like this, symmetricalness, or whatever the word is, symmetry, that's the word, is needed. And the outside of this, symmetry is almost needed. So it's just quite a nice thing to look at. So now, we are going to do the bed. Which is the flower pot, the torch, oak stairs, light grey bed, and yellow carpet. This bit's very simple because there's not much you actually need to do for it. And we use the bed to cover up the little stone slabs there. So oak stairs, oak stairs, torch wherever you want it, flower pot wherever you want it. And that's pretty much you done. You can do things like having oak stairs there, or what we'll do is we'll have another bush here, which we will steal the armour for, from one of these. Okay, stole the armour for it. And we will use, sorry that's a brick block, we'll use the armour stand style again, using the same thing as you would expect. So leather cap, leather tunic. And again, leather cap, leather tunic. And finally, leather cap, leather tunic. And I say finally, and I don't mean finally, because we'll do it again here. So oh, that's a bit of background sound. Quite a scary background sound. Why is it so scary? It's not very nice. I'm not in a cave. Why is it echoing? Ah! Okay, leather cap, leather tunic. Leather cap, leather tunic. And leather cap, leather tunic, which this time it is finally. So now you can see. Still, the outside isn't done, that is next episode. But you come inside, it's quite a nice area. You could put a little table here if you wanted. What I'll do just to make it so it might look nice for you guys, put a chest. There you go, you can use that now. It's a useful area now. A little chest, and then you come in here. A little seating area if you want to talk to people, maybe sit your dogs on it. Could work. Wait, let's see if we can get a wolf. And we'll use yellow because yellow is my favourite colour. And no, we'll get yellow and green because no lime, sorry, and lime because that's the colours we've used in this house. That's bone meal. I wanted a bone, you sausage. Oi, doggo, come in. Stop moving your bum face. Come, come, come. Sit. Good boy. Or girl. Not assuming any genders. Good they. Good they them. Okay. Yellow collar. Lovely. Green collar. Lovely. Oh, you're not very nice. 
Here we go. And then we'll get some pork chops. They all look at me. Oh yeah, booty shake, booty shake, booty shake. Booty shake, booty shake, booty shake. Where are you going? Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. This dog's insane. I'm going to scoot your butt all the way over. You can go over there now. Because this yellow one being ever so annoying. Being a booty bummel. Oh, Get out of there, you silly dog. Oh. He doesn't want to teleport. Nice. Come back here, dog. You dumb thing. Come on. Where are you going now? Come on. Dogs in this game have become so dumb. Come on. It's like my dog in real life. I have to bribe it to do what I want. Right. Stick your butt in there. And there we go, this is a nice image to end the episode on. Alright guys, so, we've done the inside of the house. Oh, all nice and lovely. We'll have a little look around, got the... Have a little look around, and then we are done, so... So therefore... The episode is done, and I will see you in the next one when we do the outside of the area. Goodbye.